Hello everyone, David Seven Skies here and today is a really happy day because Apple released a new version of Logic 10 which is... sorry I have people in here that are laughing because I'm talking. Anyway, <laughs> shut up. Logic released um, a new version of Logic Pro X which is... Um, 10.1 I believe and well I haven't really tested it much I mean I, I tested it I already messed with it I don't know how many bugs there are um, but I do know how many f cool features there are and I'm gonna show them to you right now so uh, the most amazing feature to me is definitely the customizable list of plugin and this is simply amazing like I wanted to cry when I read that so basically um, if you go to Logic Pro preferences plugin manager you will see a list with all your plugins right here uh, if you show all, show all then you see top level and then you can do your folder so you have like the normal folder that Logic always had which is uh, you know delay distortion blah 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 and you can create your own one where you can put all your favorite plugins and also you can customize the top level so what the top level does is basically um, every time that's that's mostly for instrument actually every time you're looking for an instrument um, well right now I need to close these windows but I'll explain and then I'll show you. Every time you're uh, looking for an instrument that's for example a uh, contact from Native Instrument instead of selecting and go find third-party plugin then Native Instrument and then contact um, it's gonna be... no, it's gonna reload everything yeah whatever now everything is gonna be right on the first part of the list so you don't have to go instrument, uh, native instrument, blah, blah 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 it's right here so this is gonna speed up your workflow at an incredible speed um, and the same thing works with the plugin so as you can see you have the Seven Skies plugin and then I have all the plugin that I use these are the plugin that I use the most um, I obviously use um, all this uh, but yeah here are the one that I tend to use the most so you know if I want to get the camel crash I just go here boom and you have the club camel crash right away this is super awesome it takes it takes about 20 minutes to actually you know find all your project plugins and um, sort them the way you want but yeah totally worth it um, moving on there's a new really cool thing that a lot of people uh, are going to be happy about uh, now you remember when you had a region right and you loop the region in logic 9 when you loop the region the region that you loop used to be on a different color so you could tell which region was um, a loop and which region wasn't because okay here it's fine you need to look at this little corner over here that changes but if you zoom out and stuff, you never really understand. It's never really clear what is a loop and what isn't. And that kind of pissed off a lot of people, um, included yours truly. But they fixed that. And if you go to Preferences, Display, Tracks, Shaded Loop, and there you go. It's going to be darker. It's amazing. Um, right, then... What do we have? We have the brush tool. So this is a cool little thing. So we can do this kind of stuff now. So we don't have to click for every note that we want to do if it's in 16th. We can simply click and drag. And that's quite fun. And uh, they've done it in a really clever way. So basically when you click and drag you can write the notes but if you go over the note, you see that you get this rubber uh, erasing tool, whatever, um, and there you go. Now you can simply go over 
and delete everything that you want. Um, then they did another really, really cool thing that, I mean, it's, it has always been there, but um, people didn't really know it was there. I did, um, but it never really worked too well either. So um, let's, uh, let's do, I don't know, let's just get, let's get serum and let's just write something super stupid. Just like a rolling kind of base, or whatever. Right. This song is going to be really annoying if I keep playing it. So, right. Um, normally when we want to automate it, so let's put a filter on it. Let's put a freaking envelope for the sake of it. Right, so if you want to automate it, I have my amazing shortcut with the touch. I go here, hit automation. Touch my cutoff and magically we get our automation, right? And there's nothing really new here. Let me get rid of this track because it's annoying. And there's nothing really new here, but there's a new thing that if you look here, you'll see track or region. Right, and you can switch between the two. So what this does is basically allows you to select whether you want to have an automation in your whole channel or in the region, which is pretty cool. Uh, so basically, let's say we have this pattern, right? Uh, I don't want to copy that. We have this pattern and I want this region to have cutoff automation but I don't really care about having the whole cutoff automation on the rest of the track so let's get rid of the automation in the track and select region hit touch again now it will show serum Go find. Ah, I got it. I lost it. Yeah, they're gonna have to implement a little bit this thing. Okay, got it. So now there you go. Basically, this automation is going to be inside my region. So let's adjust this thing a little bit. So that gives us a lot of, you know, possibilities when it comes to making stuff a little bit more articulated. So we have, we can have this pattern that is straight and then the pattern that is automated and we can have something like this. I mean now I'm just really showing a simple way to do it but obviously we can you know go crazy this
and this is pretty awesome as well. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Then uh, another thing they did was with audio, they uh, basically the fades were going to be are going to be real time. Usually, um, Logic used to create a file, a wave file, which was a fade file, and it would read that one. Well, now it's just going to create the fade in real time. Um, and they did a few other cool thing, uh, which is obviously uh, the when well, out first of all, as soon as you click the EQ field over here, you don't have to double click it anymore. You just click it once, no big deal. Um, and obviously, you know that if you click over here, you can bring up the compressor. And look what happened! The compressor is completely different. It looks like a freaking compressor now. It's not that shit thingy that it used to be the Logic Full Compressor. And uh, they added, I think, a couple of new circuits. Um, so these are the different ones and it sounds pretty damn good I'm surprised I haven't really uh, compared it with the UAD or the wave stuff yet but uh, I was just like trying compressing a little bit uh, especially drums just to hear the, the the proper reaction and it was actually doing a really good job um, then another thing let's say we have let's put a bunch of tracks and let's bring up our mixer. What we can do now um, is having some kind of a, it's not really a bus, because uh, a bus basically would allow us to add effects and send and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we could act, add some kind of a secondary um, volume control, uh, and which is kind of like a group. Um, and it's called VCA, which is somewhere here. Um, let's bring it up. Uh, it should be configure general VCA. There you go. And what the VCA does? Let's say we have a bunch of tracks, and we can't be bothered doing a bus, or for some reason I don't know, we didn't bus them because they don't belong in the same bus, but you know, they're all too loud or something like that. We can go here and click over here, right click actually, create a new VCA, and there you go. There's gonna be a different volume control. As you can see, it's literally just like the output, um, but basically it's gonna give you a little bit more control on the mixing, especially if you have like giant sessions like I do. Um, and yeah, even this one, it's pretty cool. I still have to kind of figure out if um, if it's gonna be, you know, if you bounce it and that's gonna be in the bounce without a problem or, um, I don't know. Like, it's pretty cool if you wanna work with stem as well because you can just route everything you want to different BCAs and, and then you can solo them and then you can bounce everything. Um, especially if you do like mixing with stems, that's gonna be really handy. Uh, then they added this thing, which well, I didn't really, I kind of looked for a, for like 15 seconds and then I got bored of it. Um, they did put a Prida's Prida snare though, which is pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't know, this thing doesn't really look good. I, kind of got excited for a second because I thought it was like a drag and drop kind of stuff um, like battery style but it's not so yeah whatever um, I'm just gonna show it to you for the sake of showing what's new in Logic 10 uh, then what's what's uh, what's new I don't remember um, well these are definitely my favorite thing, except for the drum shitty thingy, um, looks like looks like they finally woke up at Apple and they are starting to realize that Logic can be a good software if they do something uh, on it and if they you know kind of work on it a little bit more than they used to. Uh, and it definitely looks like they're they're starting to work on it and everything is starting to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm really happy I actually didn't switch to live or anything else because it really starts to 
be the it's it kind of started to be like logic 7 when it when it was working kind of but it didn't have all the awesome feature that all the software had now it's starting to be as cool as logic 7 used to be with the new feature so yeah i am pretty happy about logic and you know how much i complain about it um yeah that's it have fun uh, oh, also remember that you need to have either Maverick or Yosemite to run this thing. I just updated the whole computer. So I honestly don't know how many things are not going to work on my new projects. Um, but yeah, you need to have the new systems. Uh, obviously 64 bits only and yeah, well, have fun. Someone signed in on my Skype, so yeah, whatever. Take care, hope you liked the video, enjoy Logic 10 and let me know if you have any problems, let me know if uh, there's some cool feature that I forgot to mention, I'm sure there are. And yeah, for me, David, 7 Skies, bye bye! Oh, by the way, go and buy Rubicon.